they are spread too thin, and we need more teachers. Like, I don't understand why it should I understand what you're saying. But an address before, like, the theoretical benefits. Part of, of, part of Ralph's challenge, and thank God not mine, is that he has to balance all the priorities of whatever resources the college has. It's my job to try to figure out what are the things I want to tell him are my priorities, and then let him have to decide which of the priorities he has to deal with. Ever since Virginia Tech, it would be criminally negligent on my part to not ask these questions. Okay. So everything I can think of that is a way for me to extend this is on the tape. Cameras are one of them. I'm just, I'm just saying we can't just think that, that this money is coming from nowhere. Like it's coming from somewhere, and it's always a problem for this school. As, as in my limited time here, I've already learned this, that it's, uh, it is a problem. <coughs> Okay. Alright, so um, I would like to put forward some practical suggestions on how we can make things work. First of all, in a non camera related solution to, for example, security and parking lots, we could have people, maybe they're as part of a work study program, or maybe they're just on a volunteer basis, students in, I don't know, shirts like the event monitors, but they could say parking lot monitor. We could have them patrolling in shifts, being around the parking lots and other areas that are deemed insecure. Just so I know we have a walking guard program like well, that then, already. Okay, then we can expand that and make sure that that, that, that being known around parking lots is, is, um, is a well-known fact on this campus so that students can then feel secure and that you know those walking guards are going to look out for them in parking lots. And then we also have to realize that not everyone on this campus is responsibly. Yes, we are a unique community. Yes, in some ways we're wonderful, but it would be naive to think that everybody is going to just suddenly start looking out for each other and, you know, making sure that everything is okay all the time. We need to come up with really specific, simple actions that people can take, and we need to realize that what could be obvious to us, like calling public safety if you see something suspicious, or asking someone if they're okay, just doesn't always occur to people for whatever reason. So we, one thing that I think might help, might be part of a broader discussion, but should be done fairly quickly, is to come up with really specific actions that people can take in given situations, write them down, and post them up all around you know, this campus so that there is nowhere people can really go without people saying, you know, these are what we would do in this situation. This is part of our community norms. We, there have been programs such as uh, Consensus Sexy um, have been fairly well done that have said, you know, in a party situation where, you know, you might want to go meet someone, shall we say, there are certain things that you do. And so we need to have that, if we want to create a culture of people looking out for each other, we should do concrete things like that and make sure to publicize those and tell our friends about them. Things like that. We can't just expect people to just do things, unfortunately. I know that I would because I expect that of myself and <coughs> you know, my friends expect that of me and I expect that of them, but not everybody has, in my, you know, almost four years here, I, I've learned that not everybody has those same feelings. Um, so, in the back. Um, I mean, well, the Lee on the financial issues, um, and from what we have, that there are six off the top of your head vandalism in the last year. Is that what you said? Way more. Way more? I mean, part of the problem is there's enough stuff on campus that worries me all the time. Um, when you say the six vandalism, as far as yeah. you want vandalism. I don't think the number has been presented. Yeah, no number has been presented. Um, Let's present some numbers. Motor vehicle thefts last year was none. Burglary in residential areas was 30. In the total campus, 54. In adjacent public properties, zero reported. Uh, there was one reported aggravated assault in adjacent public property, uh, which is West Street and West Bay Road. So one yeah. stranger. Um, with, with, uh, sex offense, forcible, those four. Well, you said zero for more people, that's right. right.
that's 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 uh, if I believe, if I'm correct if I'm wrong, that's grand theft. Oh, that's stealing a car. Yeah. Correct. So that has not happened. That doesn't address whether there's been vandalism or theft to cars. Is there any data on there